The Rockford Ice Songs welcoming the Milwaukee Admirals for a winning weekday at BMO Harris Bank Center tonight to kick off the month of February. Hello, Ice Songs fans. Joseph Zakszewski with you for tonight's episode of Ice Songs Warm Up. Coming up on the program, we're going to hear from interim head coach Anders Sorensen, also goaltender Arvid Soderblom, and we'll get you ready for the opening puck drop at the BMO between these two longtime rivals. Now, for your Rockford Ice Songs, they return home after a two game jaunt away from the BMO, taking on Milwaukee last Friday and Chicago last Saturday, and the Ice Songs riding in on a four game point streak and taking taking on the hottest team in the Central Division in the Admirals tonight. So let's go ahead and take a look at the updated Central Division standings. The Ice Hogs enter tonight with a record of 16-14-3-1 to sit in third place of the Central Division. And as mentioned, a four-game point streak for them coming into tonight. But it's been the hot play of the Admirals that has everybody unnoticed in the division. A six-game winning streak for them, an eight-game point streak. They have climbed up to fifth place in the division at 19-18-2-2. Looking at the division overall, it's still led by the Chicago Wolves. They have points in their last three, but just four wins over their last ten. Then you have Milwaukee and Rockford sitting in the two and three spots. Iowa on a three-game winning streak, nipping right at the heels. You can see how close they are in terms of winning percentage. And then the Milwaukee Admirals in fifth place. They have gained tremendous ground here over the last couple of weeks. And then you have the Grand Rapids Griffins, who have cooled off significantly. They're entering today's action on a five-game winless skid. And the Texas Stars rounding out the rest of the Central. The Ice Hogs are happy to be back home after after a two-game weekend away from the BMO, though they did not have to travel far. They took on the Admirals last Friday at UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena, in which they would open up the game scoring thanks to Ford Andre alt barmakian but the Admirals were able to tie it up in the third period and then skate away with an overtime victory. But then the Ice Sox would go to Rosemont, Illinois, to square off against the Chicago Wolves on Saturday night, and boy, what a battle that was between two longtime rivals, especially the Wolves, who are again the top team in the Central Division. The Ice Sox would walk away with a one to nothing shootout shutout victory. And these two games would be a part of four in a row. The Ice Hogs have needed to go beyond regulation time to have a decision made. And there we include two overtime losses for the Ice Hogs coming against the Iowa Wild dating back to two weeks ago. And the Milwaukee Admirals, of course, on Friday. And then you also have two shootout wins against the Texas Stars, which also came two weeks ago. And most recently, the Chicago Wolves. It's tied for the longest stretch of games. The Ice Hogs have needed to go beyond regulation time to get a decision, either overtime or a shootout. The last time they would appear in four consecutive contest needing more than 60 minutes of play it was back in March of 2018. The longest run that the Ice Sox have gone. They could do it tonight. You never know, but that would be five games in a row. Goaltender Arvid Soderblom was the brightest star for the Ice Hogs on Saturday night. If it were up to me, he would have received all three stars of the game. He would make 36 saves for his first shutout of the season, and it's his first one nothing shootout shutout win since Lars Johansson would have it for the Ice Hogs, making 38 saves at Manitoba back on February of 2017. In the breakaway competition, Ford's Michael Tepley and Lucas Reichel would grab goals in the shootout. Reichel's tally would prove to be the game winner. Milwaukee Admirals look to stay hot in the Central Division and look to continue their climb on up, entering tonight in fifth place. After their overtime win against the Ice Hogs on Friday, they would dominate the Grand Rapids Griffins on Saturday at UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena. Goaltender Connor Ingram would lead the Admirals to a 5-0 shutout victory, 42 saves for him, and it would be a part of a two-shutout week for Connor, and he now leads the American Hockey League with four shutouts this season. And just the other day, he was named the AHL Player of the Week, going 3-0-0, two shutouts, and making 92 saves saves on 93 shots. The only shot that would beat him would be Ford Andre altimer Mockin's early first period goal on Friday night. Ford Rocco Grimaldi, who was the HL Player of the Week two weeks ago, looks to stay hot as well. He's got points in six of his last seven games. He's got six goals and eight assists over that stretch of time, and he enters tonight tied for 16th in the American Hockey League with 32 points. Looking at the head-to-head -head series tonight is the seventh of 12 meetings between the two clubs. The Ice Hawks a 3-2-1-0 head-to-head record. And tonight is a special contest in the long-time history between these two rivals. It is the 150th all-time meeting. The Ice Hawks hold a record of 66, 64, 9, and 10. Five players are tied for the most points in the head-to-head -head series. For the Ice Hawks, they're led by forward Evan Barrett. He's got two goals and two assists against the Admirals, and forward DJ Buzdecker with the goal and three assists. For the Milwaukee Admirals, defenseman David Ferentz alongside with forward Cody Glass. They each have four assists for four points against the Ice Sox. The Rockford Ice Sox and Milwaukee Admirals both coming into tonight's matchup on impressive point streaks. Both sides want to keep it going, but for the Ice Sox, looking to use home ice advantage to the fullest at BMO Harris Bank Center. Well, coming up on Ice Sox warm up, we're going to hear from interim head coach Anders Sorensen, get his take on the weekend, how well the Ice Sox played on Saturday against that Chicago Wolves team that leads the division overall for the 1 nothing shootout shutout victory. And we'll also hear from goaltender Arvid Soderblom, who helped the Ice Sox on to victory that night as well. So stay tuned for more Ice Sox warm up.